Gemini. What's good, guys? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. But if you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, this is going to be a love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. If you vibe with me as a reader and you would like a personal reading, you can check the description box below. Um, I read for everybody in my wellness center where we can look at, ugh, where we can link up on Zoom. Or if you prefer a video response, uh, you can click the link for Zoom. I mean, for Zoom. what the fuck? For Wissio. Um, I, Jesus. I cannot get my words right at all today. I'm so sorry. I don't know. There's some weird, like, Mars conjunct something that's happening. I think I'm being affected by it. But anyway, Gemini, I hope to get you a really great reading today. You guys are always some of my top views. And I just always appreciate my Gemini collective who watches me. So let's just get this going. Please like, share, subscribe, all that other sheet. It helps me grow and get out to all the other Geminis of the world. But yeah, this is going to be a love reading. And then I'm going to post the extended on Ribbon. So that link will also be below. All right, let's just get into it. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this sacred space so mo it they all right beautiful gemini's let's let's see what's coming in in love whoa you guys anxious what else is new though all right exchange energy to create abundance it's important you get yourself out there baby Ooh, look it's like the sun is like just hitting this guy um yeah it does seem that it's really important that my gemini's get themselves out there especially if you are hoping to meet somebody new or if you're, I just heard starting a business. Um, let's see, what else is there? What else is there for Gemini's in love? You may need to talk to your person a little more. Oh, move in a new direction. So you're ready to make some big changes in your life, which is awesome. Um, you know, and go, but you've got, it, it does seem that Gemini needs a little help with that from others. Like any moves that you are going to make will require, you know, um ex energies of and ew, energy exchanges blah 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 blah, blah. oh this came through i think for aries um it's important that you connect to whatever emotions you're feeling right now trust your instincts so this comes out look at the way the sun is just shining on these you know cards it's kind of funny for you gemini i like it um this girl is one of the signs that you may have some real strong psychic gifts of your own and it's important to listen to those, but enjoy happiness. All right, the sun. You may have some Leo in your chart, um, or something may happen in Leo season, but wow, your person is a high priest. Whoa, that's usually like a, a Taurus card. Well, there's some stuff they have to move past, but we've all got stuff we got to move past, right? They're very, very attracted to you. Ah, uh, and there she is, the wise one. Uh, this is someone who's extremely extremely smart and I'm giggling because uh cross watchers you are welcome here all right and uh someone is going to know exactly what I'm talking about uh <laughs> I will try not to blow your spot too much mama I love you um you are not alone so this is some kind of divinely guided connection of some kind um with someone who's really high level stuff Jen so I don't know who this is I might not know who this is all depends on the situation. Depends on who's watching. Um, but let's see what's going on. It's funny how my clients pop into these readings. All right. So you're dealing with some real conflict right now. Or competition or something like that. But it does seem that... Um, ooh. All right. So the Jesse Ray song called... Fuck being friends just came on. And I'm getting like, you're like, just fuck being friends. Fuck being friends. But I don't think it's in the like classic, like, fuck you, I don't want to be your friend anymore. I think you don't want to get friend zoned. Ooh, Gemini, are you afraid to get friend zoned? This is new. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. Oh. All right, Gemini, you may be going through some kind of like some real conflict or some kind of breakup. And I'm really sorry about that. Um, 
could be with a Taurus or someone you're committed to or someone you're married to. You may live with them. Oh, geez. That's not what I wanted to pick up on, but that's definitely something that could be going on with you. Um, I'm really sorry about that. Let me see. Ooh, night. this is your energy, Gem Gem. But it's also like real impulsive energy, right? Like, and I think you tend to go in and out of this person's life. Um, and they have, I mean, look, I'm not putting all the tea and shade on you because they've got some stuff going on too. There's no doubt. All right. So, but you definitely, there's some drama popping off in your life right now, Gemini. And I'm really sorry about that. Uh, if it's not a breakup or a divorce, it might be like job loss or something. This tower is rough skittlyevsky. Oh, shit. Heartbreak. Gemini. You, this person may have cheated on you. They, they may have strayed. Um, you may be thinking about doing the same. I don't know. There's definitely third party that came in and broke up this Queen of Swords. Wow. You're cutting this out, though. Whatever it is that's going on in your life. And I don't think it has anything to do with this person over here. That's really interesting. Um, but, yeah, I really don't think that this has anything to do with... Um, with this person. I think you're in the middle of something that is totally separate. And then there's this other entity over here. Um, that... And, but you're really caught up in whatever it is that's going on in the home. Or this could be someone around you as well that you're trying to help. So if this isn't happening to you, Gemini, you may be being affected by somebody else. Queen of Pentacles, whoa. You definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn, Gemini. Um, seven of... All right, so this person that you're connecting with, they feel like they have to protect themselves a little bit. Maybe because you do have a lot of drama in your life. Like, it's like, you know, and, and Gemini, you may resonate with this side. But this seems to be going on the side. So this seems more like the masculine side. And this seems more like the feminine, even with this high priest. Whoa. This person wants to work with you. I think it's figuring out the how that is going to be an issue. And I think that... Um, Oh, that's rough. Um, but the how is is important. Whoa. And they're not, but they're not telling you how much they care about you. They're not. It's true. Like there's definitely like, but I'm not getting the seven of swords as them lying about anything really big. Or they may be unsure about the connection between the two of you. This might be a little hard for them. And you're just like, so there's, or there may be drama with your kids, Gemini. Um, or you may still be, okay, this is another storyline that's coming in for some Geminis. And I have one, another a sub in particular that I'm getting this message for. I may have to email her. Is you, you were cheated on by this, by this person. Because with the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords here, this person may have cheated on you, Gemini. And now they want to work on this. Ooh. That's that's for some of you. This is going to be one of those readings where I'm getting multiple messages from multiple people, it looks like. Could be dealing with a Libra. Libra always comes out in your readings. So. Um, and I always wonder what that's about. Libra's right here, too. Um, wow. Okay. Let's see. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you got two queens here, Jim. Um, or like you, I mean, or you had to embody that Queen of Swords, even though you really do love this person like you had to walk away from someone you really loved um maybe because they couldn't decide about you 
Yeah. Wow. It's funny. It's almost like you two need... Okay, this has a lot of twin flame energy again. And I don't even see the four wands or the emperor or the empress, but for some reason this does is feeling like a bit of a twin flame reading. And that there was definite like hurt here and some kind of breakup and separation. And it was really, really tough on both of you. And but neither one of you talked about how hard that was. And now, Gemini, you're manifesting victory. But you I think you might have been in something else with someone else. And that is yeah, you need you're you're manifesting equal give and take with someone you really belong with. And you're leaving something else, someone who may have cheated on you. And it may be this person or this person may know about it. This is kind of convoluted. And I'm sorry, Gemini, if it's hard to follow. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying because it's a, it is a little. But it's almost like. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It feels. Wow. This is definitely. So this is interesting. There's so many people involved here. There's a lot of people here. And it's almost like, Gemini, you're ready for it to, like, this seems like you can't decide between your emotions or your stability. And that's really hard for you right now. Like, there's the twins. I feel like these are the, the twins inside you. And, like, one minute you are this, like, super stable person, and then the next you're really emotional. You may have some water placements, Gemini. Um, and then with this Knight of Cups, it's almost like this Gemini wants to apologize or give, you know, like, Gemini wants to express emotion really badly, and it has a really hard time with it. This may be a strong cross-watcher reading here but yeah this gemini is definitely very very masculine in a lot of ways has a lot of females around them though and but they want to express to this person this queen of pentacles over here who's this queen of pentacles did the queen the queen of pentacles here is definitely not being open about their feelings but they want to work with you, Gemini. Um, this is really convoluted. Oh, they're keeping an eye on you online. Maybe you hurt them, Gemini? Both people got hurt here somehow. And that's for sure. This person's very focused on their work or working things out with you. Ten of Wands, whoa. And the page of wands, whoa. It's almost like starting over would be really hard here. Like starting over with you, Gemini, would be a challenge for this person. Um, there may, I mean, why? Why? Um, I do think this person needs a level of freedom. They want... They want, <laughs> they, 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 they adore you, but they need a level of freedom in life that I think they've never experienced before. And I think that that's their focus, Gemini. It's good to note a little bit of playa, playa energy, for sure. With the page of wands and it's like, almost like, for some of you, this person has a really hard time with commitment or maybe in something already that they are having a really hard time getting out of. I mean, oh man. I mean, they do have the ancestral patterns thing here. And it would take a lot of work for them, but it looks like they're trying. Like it's almost like they're doing this page of one, this page of swords. I'm not even getting so much. They may be doing a lot of online research on how to get out of their situation, whatever it is that they're looking to get out of. Pisces season at the bottom of the deck. This this is wild. I feel like there's a million energies floating around in this one right now. And like a million different situations. But like, I don't know. 
Welcome to Gemini World. You guys always got something popping off. All right, let's see. Even during the demic. All right. Two of Wands. Um, two of Wands, three of Wands. Wow. This is a very shuffled deck, too. I've used it many, many times now. Future planning and expansion. Gemini, you want to expand with this person. You want them to come back into your life. And I think that you want to, like, apologize. There's something here. And if you're a Gemini feminine, you may re resonate with this side more, for sure. I kind of can't stand when this happens, but, you know, because it does make it a little harder for me to read. Um, but please, take whatever side you resonate with big time in this one, for sure. Um, but, yeah, it's almost like, Gemini, you're waiting for this person to come to you. And I think they feel way too vulnerable to do that. The lovers, whoa. And you've got choices to make. Gemini, it looks like. And it looks like these big choices are going to be made in March. And this actually does follow along with some of the readings I've been getting for uh, some of my clients. So, ah. Oh. It's like, uh, there's a lot of wands here, so you may have a lot of fire in your chart, Gemini. Um, but your card came out. And it's almost like there are people competing for your love, Gem. But you're like, oh, this is a lot. And it's a burden. That must be very frustrating. And I can't imagine what it's like being pulled in two different directions. And... Like, this is making me feel a little bad for my ex-husband. Because <laughs> he has a baby mama and a wife. And I'm the baby mama. I don't ask for that much. I don't ask for his love. I ask for him to love his kid. That's about it. And he does. He does a great job. So it's so funny. I'm like, ugh, maybe I won't ask for so much anymore. He's burdened. But yeah, Gemini is feeling really burdened right now by a lot of things. Getting pulled in a bunch of different directions. And Geminis tend to be the type that don't show it until they lose their shit. That's why I call you guys fire signs most of the time. Because it's like, you let it build up. Don't let it build up. All right? If people are pulling you in too many directions, do say no. You know, get better at saying no. They can take it. They're big kids. They can handle it. You know? So he has no problem saying no to me. But I don't know if he has a problem saying no to other people. I don't know, for some reason, I was just, he never comes through in these readings, so that's funny. Um, but Gemini, you, this isn't about him at all. It's just for some reason that came through. But Gemini, for you, my loves, overall, female or male, you have some big choices coming up. Um, oh, he's, he's looking to get a house. Oh, nice. This is a lot of work. He'll probably find, he might find a house in March. All right, I'll tell him. Anyway, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, and if you're looking for a house, it may be a lot of work and a lot of competition right now to buy a house. So that's coming through for some Geminis. Um, if you're happily married, which he is, as far as I know, I don't look in. Um, and all of this was just like cray cray. It's you guys are looking for a house and there's a lot of competition. You're going to find something in March. Uh, that's very specific, though, for Geminis looking for a home with, with their spouses. All right. Anyway, um, I hate when that happens. <laughs> All right. So, scratch that. So, for Geminis who are getting divorced, though, there are some Geminis that may be getting divorced and leaving someone else and going to another relationship. It's going to happen during Aries season. And your person is all for it. They, you know, this feels like, but they may also have somebody. Um, but I also think that they, yeah, they, they have things they have to leave too. You know, it's not just you. And they're a little depressed about it, but they're ready to go. I mean, Pisces season is when I think this person's going to get out of whatever it is that they're in. So, I don't know. Gemini, that took a tide turn. 
with the house thing. Um, I wonder if any of you guys are going to resonate with the house thing. So. All right. Overall energies, though, for these two. for uh, Especially the one that's in, like, some crazy thing. I don't know. This, the energies are crazy. And I've heard other tarot readers being like, I'm not doing personals until the retrograde is over. And, I mean, can you blame them? Ace of Cups. You two love each other very much. There's some new beginning happening between these two in in spring. I mean, it's just, it's going to happen. There's, oh my God, the fool. That's Aries season. And Aquarius, actually. So anywhere between now and Aries season, love is, love is, real love is coming in, it looks like. I mean, man, this is crazy. But you two, there's a lot of things that you guys have to work out. But, I mean, I'm going to get more into it in the extended. I'm going to, the full outcome, but I already just told you. Uh, it, But it does look like I'm going to pull some more on this and try and clarify a little bit more. Like, who who's cheating on what? Who got hurt? Why? What's happening? You could definitely be dealing with an Aries, uh, a Taurus, a uh, Sagittarius, Pisces, um, Capricorn. Anything else that I forgot? Oh, and Saggy. A lot of Saggy. There's always a lot of Saggy around, it's, it seems. You could have some Pisces or Scorpio in your chart. Uh, you could have some Taurus in your chart. You could have some Cancer, a lot of water. Um, and you could definitely have some Taurus. Oh, did I say Taurus twice? I did. So double Taurus. You could also have some Aries or some Aquarius in your chart. So, but not necessarily. All right. I love you, Gemini. I hope you're able to make sense of this, even if I wasn't. All right. See you on Ribbon. If not, take care.